Um, this is a mock booking using Facts Vacation Access and um, with Canva. My name is Mark Milne. I am going to be your host. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourselves, raise your hand, um, text in the chat box, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, take a look. Um, we can just look at something like universal parks uh, and resorts. Internet has been slow. <clears throat> All righty. And uh, we can just click on anything and it, it'll pop up on what what is going to be able to have on there. So what we can do is just go ahead and click on that registration. And there's the registration for the VAX. If you're signed up for VAX, um, you really don't have to go through this. Um, they just, it's just there for disclaimers. All righty. Let's go back. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, work on today is uh, through Spongejet Vacations. Spongejet Vacations is a little more budget friendly um, with the um, uh, when you're booking, um, it's a little less cheaper than going to, with Apple Vacations. Uh, Travel Impressions is also a good one. Uh, Blue Sky Tours is good for Hawaii. Uh, United Vacations is all around also. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to start with something from Seattle. Um, just, you know, maybe... Puerto Vallarta. And usually with Puerto Vallarta, it's mainly just uh, like a uh, anniversary honeymoon kind of thing. So we're going to leave that as that, just the two adults. Um, departure date we'll put for maybe um, June. We'll put June 12th. Um, the cheapest time to go would be on a Tuesday. Tuesdays are usually the cheapest day to fly. Uh, so we're, we're going to leave that as that. And return dates, you know, we're going to go for a couple of days. So we'll do until uh, June 16th, which is for three nights. Automatically add that, add the travel protection. Anytime you're doing a mock booking, you would like to add the travel protection. Um, the reason being is uh, you want to include it if unless your client specifies they do not want to add it. Everyone following along okay um, with the uh, where we're going and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself. Or if I'm going too fast, uh, go ahead and unmute yourself and you know tell me to slow down a little bit or whatever you would like to do. <clears throat> so the outbound flights, um, I usually like changing um, the reason being um, is time during the day. So maybe departure arrival time will probably departure in, in the, the morning and hopefully get there by the afternoon without no layover. Maybe this one with the hour and 10 minute layover. 5.30, 5.30 is a little early, I would think, uh, for anyone trying to get going. 7.20, uh, it's about okay. So we'll go ahead and do that one, the Delta Airlines, 7.20 a.m. And we'll go ahead and select that. And 
and the return flight, 6.02 a.m. Usually when, you know, someone's coming back from vacation, they usually don't like returning in the morning. So preferably something in the afternoon, evening kind of thing. Uh, departure time, we'll just put afternoon. Um, the reason being, you know, they don't, they don't want to go back to, you know, they want to, you know, enjoy their much time as they can there um, with, and usually with that, I like doing the uh, less layover. So I always try going through everything. There's the hour and 35 minute layover, 350, which isn't too bad. Um, so we'll probably do that one. The 350, Aero Mexico, Aero Mexico, um, 3.50 p.m. arriving back into Seattle at 10.20 p.m., which isn't too bad. And usually if it's someone going back to uh, Porto, they, they usually know where they want to stay, what's the best place to stay at, and all that good stuff. Um, but let me see. Where's the other? And let's do an all inclusive, all inclusive adults only. Seeing how it's for two adults. Um, usually I try looking at, you know, the tropical view double, you know, and usually the double, they don't really, you know, they want to stay in the same, you know, area, same room, um, same bed. Junior Ocean. Junior Suite Ocean View King, which is kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and select that one. Um, exclusive perks available. Um, give your customers more. And exclusive perks um, available only through us. Restrictions apply. Upgrade bonus available. Groupies. Um, we're not going to do the group. Instant OTA. And contract to connect hotel. Okay. So we'll go ahead and select that one. Since that was a five star, four and a half star. And we can also look at the features on this one. Um, <clears throat> So the features is going to be on here. The full travel credit, uh, if they cancel for any reason, um, or you know the airlines or hotel, or the all inclusive in this case is unable to fulfill their their uh, needs and wants. You know they're able to get that full travel credit through you if they decide to book through you again. Um, the travel, the cash refund is, you know, exactly what it reads. Cash refund, they'll they'll be able to get the cash back. Um, you want to make sure you read the full details on the cash refund and the full travel credit to see which is going to be better accommodating for your clients. I usually, um, the full travel credit, though, is lower deposit, whereas the cash refund is the higher deposit, but you get all that money back, all the monies. So we'll go ahead and leave that full travel credit there. And the transportation to your from your hotel call private transportation, um, up to six passengers. Um, usually, you know, they would like the um, the the private transportation. Um, that's just, you know, what they would probably like. So in this case, um, you know, they don't want to share with anyone. They just want to go there and get dropped off, you know. So the private transportation, we're going to go ahead and add that. And that's up to six. Private deluxe transportation from your hotel up to four passenger. Um, one way private, but we'll go ahead and leave that. <clears throat> and usually uh, they will tell you, you know, like, oh, it's our honeymoon and you can include it. 
um, the eternity pat honeymoon package or their engagement, you know, they're going to get engaged. Um, the city tour, the whale safari, whatever activities there is, you can go ahead and add in uh, with that. Uh, the canopy tour, Los Ranos, uh, the outdoor adventure, ATV, and they'll tell you like, we do not want to do anything in the water. We do not want, you know, we're not swimmers. We're not, you know, we're fine on the beach, you know, food, you know, feet to, to the ground, you know, so that's always a good thing to listen to and just listen to your uh, clients when you get them on the phone. That's the most important thing. What flights did we pick again? Oh, we're, we'll go back to that page. I was just showing you guys everything that was included with, with that. Um, so the flights included is going to be with, uh, the flight is the, the Delta Airlines um, that is gonna be leaving at 7.20 a.m. Um, from Seattle. And then the return flight is going to be leaving at 3.50 p.m. Did you get that okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, awesome. And the secrets to uh, the Vallarta Bay Porto, um, the Ocean View uh, King, which is perfectly great, you know. Um, and hi, may I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Uh, inbox. How do you see how many luggage are you allowed to bring with you? Um, you would go, you, yes, you would go ahead and click on the, um, the, the flights when you're going through it and it'll tell you like, um, what the, uh, baggage is, um, what, during the checkout. And why I, I was going crazy sometimes to, to. To see it, sometimes I, I put premium economy is coming out all economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your the lights for, for this one, uh, how you would look at it. Hold on, let me minimize the cameras, my, my camera thing. Um, so the when you email the the itinerary. Uh huh. You always email it to yourself, never to your client. The reason being is so you can edit it and uh, put your information in there instead of the vendors. Um, how we can do it is, you know, gmail.com. It'll ask you to preview it. You know, you just preview it, email it, and it sends it to your um, to your email, and it should be right here. Do you guys see my email? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so the bag, the additional baggage information is going to be okay, awesome. right there when you, when you email it to yourself um, instead of going through VAX and looking through everything. And, you know, everything's right there. And it'll tell you, like, you know, like your first baggage, you know, you have to pay $50 or $25, whatever the case may be. Um, I usually leave that in there during the quote um, or, you know, to the client when I'm emailing it to them. The only thing I take out is the, the flight number, um, the flight numbers throughout the whole thing and leave the additional baggage charges. And I always tell my clients, um, make sure you read the additional baggage charges um, that may apply um, before you go to the airport. That is that way, you know, there's no misunderstanding or, you know, you may misread something to them or, you know, that way, you know, that's their responsibility as an adult, you know, to go through everything. <clears throat> and why you take it out to the flight number? The flight number I usually take out. That way um, they don't look up, they're, they're not able, they're not Compare. using me to use to, to do the the leg work and they're just gonna look up the flight number and 
that way they can't Google it and be like, oh, well, I found it for, you know, a hundred dollars, you know, let's just say a hundred dollars and you're charging me, you know, why are you charging me 6,000, you know, for to go into uh, $4,000 and whereas my flight is, you know, only a thousand, you know, only a hundred dollars, you know, why, why are you charging me so much when you're, you know, so yeah, they, they always will get the flight info after they book or after they make the deposit. I usually wait until they do do uh, pay the pay in full. The reason being is um, that way they uh, don't just oh well we're gonna cancel and we found something cheaper. You know, thank you though for holding it for us. You know, <laughs> all that good stuff. Okay, and another question. Sorry, uh, happened to me a couple of times. I I did a quote. And uh, right after the price uh, or the flight change, I sent yeah. the quote out, and the the the, the flight I was uh, quoting disappear or the price changes. How do you do? Well, how do you deal with? Yeah, um, everything. That's why team is subject to change. Um, you always place that disclaimer inside your emails um, or inside your mock bookings. And we're going to get through that. Um, and, you know, everything changes, you know, it's nothing's guaranteed. You know, they can wait five, 10 minutes and, you know, it changed. You know, when I'm doing this, it's, um, it changes. And it will let you know, like the pricing changed and it reviews, you're able to review it in the cart or sometimes you have to call back because you're not too sure if which multiple destination airline um, has changed or is not available. So you have to call VAX directly. There's no way around it. Um, you can try changing it and changing it and seeing if it will work for you but sometimes you know the flight isn't available you know and that's where vax comes in and tells you like well there's this alternate you know route for you to take you know like a boat or a high speed boat um it's just depends on the vendor really okay, did that answer your you. question yes thank you okay um so after we sent that itinerary to us to ourselves, um, we can go ahead and take out just um, this. And I usually leave this top part alone. I don't bother with it. The reason being after you copy and paste it, there's gonna be all these little dots that will go into the, um, into the numbers and it looks very tacky. So what I usually like doing is something like this and I'll go all the way down and what we're going to do is something like that and copy. Then we're going to compose. And it's going to be to the person that you're sending it to. And this gives us a chance to uh, copy and paste it. And uh, take out the flight information. And sometimes, you know, the client will ask, well, why did you take it out? It's and just tell them you'll get that when uh, they they uh, book through you, and after the final payment, they get the full itinerary. Uh, again, leave the additional bag charges in there um, after you send it to yourself. Uh, take out the links, remove the links. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And the secrets to all right here, we're gonna highlight and then we're gonna copy it. Then we're gonna copy and paste into the, um, the Google, okay? Then we're gonna look at the different uh, pictures that we have. And you wanna make sure it's JPEG. Uh, the reason why we're gonna start saving them is uh, for, um, for our bookings and to put into the email, 
when you're sending it off to your client. Um, this, this way it looks more presentable. It looks like you put some effort into it. Um, it makes it look nice and pretty. And anything else besides JPEG, you do not want to save because it will sh not show up in there as, as such. So we can go ahead and just save those, you know. I usually like doing a picture of the bed uh, somewhere on the property. Um, you know, maybe, you know, we can put in there a king and it should be on there. Maybe something like this you know, just to show off the room um, because that's where they're gonna be spending, you know, their couple days at. And we can go ahead and just save that and it will pop up in there. And once we do that with our email, we can go ahead and, you know, maybe take out the room one to adults. And this is where we're gonna put our pictures. And we can go ahead and just grab it and resize it as we need to. And this will, you know, put it to where it looks nice. And we can go smaller. Okay, then after that, we can go with this one and go ahead and wait for it to drop in. The reason being, you know, yeah, is because uh, we want the client to know what the room is going to look like, where, where they're going to be staying at, you know, a picture of the property, uh, somewhere where they might be going, you know, um, room type, junior suite, ocean view king. And, you know, it shows the ocean view. It shows the king bed, you know, it looks nice, uh, great pictures. And uh, you don't have to use the same exact pictures that I'm using. You can go ahead and uh, leave, you know, pick different pictures. And it, long as it looks presentable to you and the client will probably like it. <clears throat> and you can go ahead and edit um, these inside here, you know. And Hostel, hotel rating, private transportation. We'll go ahead and leave that in, and but we'll go ahead and remove the link. Full travel credit, identification for travel, and you can ask them to when you're doing the um, the uh, uh, after they do their bookings and all that if they have their passports and. Um, get that information before you book. Um, if not, tell them, you know, you, they might want to start looking into it before they, you know, even do book. Because uh, sometimes it may take a while for them to get it, depending on where they get it from and, you know, their location and all that, all that good stuff. Okay. And from there, we, you know, we can just put quotes. Okay. So now with Canva, um, we can go ahead and I usually like doing, can you guys see the Canva website okay on your end? Uh, can you guys see my, my screen? Okay, I'm assuming you guys can, uh, no answer. So um, Canva TikTok video. <clears throat> and we can go ahead and just type in that into the search bar once you get to Canva. And you know that's how your um, mock booking will go to your clients. It's just like that, you know? And before you send this off, you can always call your client or text your client and ask them, they have a couple minutes to go over the itinerary to make sure it looks all okay. And that way you can go over the pricings with them. Um, 
And if they have any questions, you're, you're able to answer it right away instead of just waiting um, and go from there. But it's always good to go ahead and get your clients on the phone. Every time you do a mock booking or anytime you're doing a quote with them. Okay, so now we're gonna do is create a, a TikTok video. Um, the reason why I like doing the TikTok videos is it's all around. Um, TikTok videos goes up to three minutes and the three minutes is, you know, really good if you have a lot of like multiple destinations that your clients wants to do um, with the, the booking. But in this case, it's just uh, one destination and it's gonna be a quick video, um, quick editing, um, it, unless you want to change something, you know, that will, you know, catch it. I mean, you can even do something with one of these and make it look nice. We can change it up. You know, it's whatever we want it to look like. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do <clears throat> is look for something that we haven't done. That's the most thing I think is the time consuming is looking for a video that's going to pop out uh, to you. This is a long shot, but we'll try it. Yeah. Nope. No luck. Okay. Back to this one. The video templates. We'll go ahead and do this one since this one's a free one. Um, and we can always add on to it as we're going through. All righty, so what we're gonna do now is take a look at this to see what we can go ahead and change out. Um, probably something, you know, that's gonna match the beach, what will match the beach. Uh, so what we can do is, you know, put Mexico beach and take a look, you know, to see what we can find that's gonna kind of match the area to where the destination is. If I'm going too fast, um, please let me know. Um, that way we can all be on the same page or where we're, what we're gonna be doing, okay? Or if you're feeling lost, um, feel free to stop me and ask questions, unmute yourselves. I mean, you can just go ahead, drag it, drop it, or we don't like it, you know, we can change that. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and select that. We can put Puerto Vallarta. And with these ones, I like to leave it, you see those, that solid blue line, it's like a rectangle that goes inside. That's gonna be your cropping area when you're um, viewing anything for uh, uh, Canva um, that allows it to be inside when you're looking on your phone, tablet, laptop, whatever the case may be. 
that's going to be your general area where you want everything to be at that that solid blue line you know right there gross right there this is exactly in the middle that's why it's right there so we're going to go ahead and leave it like that then we're going to add in um the hotel and how we're going to do that you know how we had the three the three um we're going to go to elements and we're going to look at something that we're able to uh, do like a picture frame um, and you scroll down it's going to be right here grids picture frames um, usually it's under grids um, because it has a little bit more um, usually with this i like making it to where you're the the picture of the bed is going to be right there, um, the property and, you know, somewhere else on the property. So we're going to go ahead and do something like that. And we're going to go downloads and it's all right here. So what we're going to do is just drag it, drop it and it's loading. So now we're able to wait for it and we're going to go ahead and drop and select whichever frame we want it to go in. Usually the bigger picture frame of the three, I like putting it in there, at least three pictures of the property um, or, you know, of where they're going to be staying at. And you can do more. It's really up to you on how you want to make it look. Um, and there we go. I can drop it. And there you go. And we can change the background of this. It doesn't have to be purple or whatever color. And how we do that is we just click on the main thing, make sure it's highlighted, all of it. And it gives you the photo colors of, you know, what the doc, what the pictures are, or we can choose something different. You know, we can do yellow, we can do, you know, I don't know what color that is, pink, um, violet. You know, what, whatever color we may want it to be, you know, that's what it can be. Let's do orange. Okay. So after that, we're going to go back to our itinerary and look at the name of the hotel again. And right there. And we're going to copy it. Then we're going to uh, do a text and we're going to add, you know, add a subheading and we're going to just copy and paste in there. Okay. And for this one, you know, the best thing to do with, you know, to keep your uh, viewer engaged is we want to animate it. We want to do something that's going to be catchy to, you know, to the eye. We want, you know, we want it to, you know, sort of, you know, their eyes constantly moving and taking a look at it. And we can do both on exit, on enter, you know, it's really entirely up to you, whatever you wanted to do. And we can leave it like that. Oops. And then the effects, you know, you can do echo, you can do splice, shadow, lift. Um, you can curve it if you'd like. Um, uh, it's basically whatever you would like it to do. I usually don't like putting anything when I'm putting the, uh, the information for that. And this is where I'm gonna put my disclaimer. And the disclaimer is gonna read, you know, um, asterisk, and it's going to read um, pricing and availability, availability, almost forgot how to spell, subject to change. And we can change, you know, we can make this smaller. I usually don't like um, using the decrease and increase font size buttons. The reason um, when you're doing it, it shrinks 
and it expands during throughout the whole video. So I usually like doing something, you know, that's gonna, oops, too small. Maybe 25, you know, so. And we can go ahead and add the information in of what the uh, Junior Sweet Ocean View King, maybe put, you know, let's scoot this down. King bed with ocean view. And if you like, we can include some of the complementaries, you know, um, private, uh, let's see, private transportation, right? That's what we changed. So we can private transportation. Um, and let's do this bulletin. So what we're gonna do is just the bulletin as such, just as an inclusion. So do you put the name of the resort on your TikTok videos? Because I normally don't on Facebook. Yes, I like to put the, um, include the name of the resort inside there. Um, the reason being, you know, it's somewhere where they're going to be going. It's, you know, that's kind of a must know. I, I would like to think. Um, and <clears throat> after that, we can in, uh, include, you know, uh, let me see. Airfare is included. Um, travel credit. Travel protection, and then parentheses, and we can put credits. And so um, yeah, that's basically it. I don't like the way all this looks. So there you go. Looks a little more better. Sorry, how did you load up the photos you picked? Um, so I just looked at my downloads, um, and there's and there's no reason to be sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is look at the downloads, um, and that's what we downloaded for the emails, and we can use those pictures to include into the Canva. So we're gonna go to downloads, we're gonna double click downloads, and this should be the, the last three that we have in there. And we just grab it, and we just grab it, and paste it, and we're just, it just drops in there easily, you know? So in this case, you know, we don't want that, in there because we have the three photos, but that's just how you do it. Um, then after you, after it pops up in there, then we're able to add it in here uh, with that. And um, usually the, the bed, I like putting in the bigger picture frame and that's it. Yeah, Canva is really super easy to use. Um, it, anything besides JPEG, I would not download. Um, the reason being, it won't show up on Canva. Um, travel protection included. So now we're going to change this one to something else. Um, maybe something like the, the blue um, or, and usually I like including in all my, my videos, my logo, okay? So with the logo, you know, we can put in here, we can put anywhere, um, just make it uh, that way, you know, it's yours. Something that is in there with it, you know, something that brands it, okay? Awesome, you're welcome. So after we're done with that one, we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and select it, you know, and, add this one in here and maybe we can add a subheading. Um, add a heading is a little too big, I think. And the subheading is perfect. The little body, uh, a body of 
a little bit of body text is perfect for when you're going to your disclaimers. That way you can make it a little bit smaller than what it shows on there. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and do the uh, price per person. So the 420706. So calculator, my best friend. So 4207 and 06 divided by two equals 2103 and 53. So what we're gonna do is leave it as uh, 2104. 2104. And we're gonna put on there price per person. And I like leaving the price per person and instead of PPP, because when someone's looking at your video for the first time, they're gonna be like, what the heck is this person talking about? What is a PPP, you know? Um, and price per person, and we can go ahead and leave it in there. Um, price per person, 2104. And then the we scroll down, all the way down. Uh, deposit due upon booking. You know, we can put the nine, 910. We'll just round it up um, that way. And you want to do the price per person. The reason being, you know, if they see the full price, price, they're going to be like, wow, that's a lot for two people, you know, and whereas the price per person, you know, just in case you get a group or whatever. And deposit due upon booking. And it is what, 910, did we say? 910. Okay. And usually with this type of information, I do not like doing uh, animations or effects on, on anything unless you're doing like a, a picture background and which is fine. You can go ahead and do that. Um, and the cool part is like, if you're including the um, like, a car rental, you can go ahead and do this uh, animate or this uh, vehicle and you can change the background. You can get rid of the background and it'll just show the vehicle, which is really cool, I think, in my opinion. And there it is, just the vehicle along with the background. You know, background's gone, which is kind of cool. A little, little something I learned. Um, a while back, and I like to show that every time. <laughs> okay, so uh, price per person, 2104, deposit due upon booking. And what we're going to do is go ahead and include, you know, like um, uh, leave, go back to search elements and maybe put a phone, you know, uh, that way that you can put in there, like, you know, phone and then your, your phone number. Uh, we can do something like this and leave it as such. And go back to text and subheading. And you can put your phone number. And before that, we can add another one above it and we can put call or text. You see how look that that's too small. So we need to go up. Maybe bold it. Shrink this down a little bit and there you go 
Um, and maybe adding your logo or a picture of yourself, whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, if you'd like, you can even do the whole the whole thing to where you know pops up on there. But in this case, and that is that. And with the background, I usually like including, you know, the, there you go, the name of the place where they're going, um, the all inclusive. Oh, we forgot to put the dates in there. So we can go back to June 13th through the 16th. Maybe we can put it right here. We're going to copy this, then we're going to paste it. What one was it? June 13th? Yes, June 13th. And usually with this one, I like doing a little shorter since this is just like an intro. And seeing how this one has the information on there, I like doing that includes this one also at the very at the very end. And what we can go ahead and do um, with your elements is go ahead and click on that one. Then we can go ahead and, you know, um, maybe so let's just get rid of this one and put this one in here. That way it looks kind of cool with the background, the picture of the ocean and whatnot. Um, and then with the video, we can go back and it'll show it on there. It'll play throughout the duration of the nine seconds. Um, and we can go down, back down to audio and we're gonna see all. Usually I like picking an audio that's gonna be for the area or something that you're doing um, for that. in here and okay so after we pick the audio we're going to go ahead and select um click on those little three dots right there then we're going to uh, select audio effects usually with the fade in i do it for about 0.5 seconds um at the very beginning and the fade out, I usually leave for about three seconds, three to four seconds. Um, not that way that it gives the viewer, you know, time to, like, oh, video is ending. Okay. And usually with this one, we can go ahead and share it and, uh, or we can go ahead and view it first. So where I went for the um, audio is under elements and you can scroll all the way down uh, audio, you'll see audio, then you'll see all. 
and how you see all, you know, you just click on it and there it is, you know, whatever you would like the sound to be. Usually I like doing it for either where they're going to go um, or what the event is. You're welcome, Yasmin. Um, okay, so that is that. Um, after you're done with the video, if you're happy with it, uh, we can always change the color of the font um, to something, you know, that's going to be going to be different. Recommended fonts. Deposit due. Okay. So after that looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. And oh, we can we can even add in the transitions. So we can go ahead and add the transition then, you know, nice short video uh, with that. And uh, maybe we can go down, down to the right. Oops. Down and to the right, and we can apply it to all the pages, and it'll automatically do it for us. So you know we need to readjust the 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 length of the video, you know, for that. Maybe this one's a little too long, so we'll go back down to seven seconds. This one's over to four and a half, and um, after that, the transitions will be in there. There you go. There's the transitions are both, you know, throughout the video. Um, and the audio is there. You know, it looks good. We're great. You know, we're all for it. Uh, so after that, what we can do, go ahead and do is the download. I, I usually don't like sharing on social uh, directly from Canva. Uh, the reason being is uh, because it will have the watermarks on there and it'll have, you know, you can use Canva by downloading, you know, the um, application, you know, so I usually don't, I usually just download it to myself, you know, on my laptop. Um, and we can go ahead and change the settings, you know, for larger screens, 4K, 1080p, 720. Um, usually I like leaving it, you know, default as is, which is the 1080p HD. And you can go just go ahead and download it. Now, if you have the app, it will automatically sync with your app on your phone or iPad, tablet, whatever you're using besides your laptop. And it'll um, have it on there. Um, and you're able just to, you know, if you want to put it on your phone and, you know, send it off like that, you know, upload it to your social media platforms because I usually don't have everything on my my laptop, I'm mean, usually on my phone or my iPad. Um, so we can just go ahead and click download. It will take a couple minutes and it'll let you know, you know, when it's ready, when it's done. And after that, that's it. Hey, Mark. Yes. Do you have, um, for TikTok, do you use your personal page to post or do you have a business um, page for it? Um, I started off with a business or with a personal, then I changed it over to business and the, I gained quite a few followers. I'm almost to a thousand right now. Um, so I sometimes post like personal, like funny videos on there just to show like, hey, I'm human. <laughs> um, nothing too personal though. Um, try to keep it, you know, kind of professional as you can, um, but you can make, you know, a personal and a business. Um, it just depends on, you know, I think TikTok, you're able to change the phone number on there. So, if, you know, if you want, you can go ahead and do that. So after it's done downloading, it will show it on there and Okay, there it is. 
30 seconds. Um, if you'd like to, you know, that way if someone tries opening it up, you know, we can just put. You know, that way we were able to find it on our own and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> after that, you're able to download it to, you know, Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, TikTok, uh, Snapchat. Um, Snapchat, I believe it, they're only up to a minute. Um, Facebook is, I think, two minutes. Um, Instagram, I think, is two to three minutes. Um, and I know TikTok is three minutes because I pushed, pushed it very close to three minutes through one of my videos. Um, when you're posting to any of your social media platforms, make sure it's directed to who you want it to be to. Um, and don't put like hashtag FYP or, you know, hashtag like, um, you know, Queen Elizabeth or whatever the trend is, you know, now. Um, otherwise, you know, that's a good way to get shadow banned on, on TikTok or any social media platform. Any other questions? You said, what about the hashtags again? Oh, the hashtags directly directed to your audience that you would like to engage with don't uh don't do any trends you know if it's not um in your interest of your business um put it to you know like hashtag travel agent or hashtag your business um that way if anyone's looking for you it's there you know like myself i i usually like putting like hashtag mark junior travel in there that way you know if someone looks me up on google you know there it is it's you know there on TikTok. it's there on you know facebook or whatever um and that's just a good way to go okay. instead of fyp or you know whatever trend is going on you know mm -hmm. okay is that it and Anyone else have any more? Hey, Mark, this was a cool train. Thanks. Where can we go for the recording? Um, it will be uh, out after it is edited. Um, usually it takes uh, a couple um, 